Today, I will discuss about structural and non-structural measures of coastal hazard. What are the key component? There are several key component regarding the management of coastal hazard. That is structural and one is non-structural. What is the key component associated with the structural? Structural measures is associated with physical construction, application of engineering techniques, scientific monitoring, measurement, etc. And what are the key components associated with non-structural measurement? Non-structural structural measures of coastal hazard, measures of coastal hazard. That is knowledge, practice. Another important is the agreement. There are several policies, laws, public awareness, training, education. Now, what are the factors of coastal, I mean, uh, structural measures? There are various factors that governs the structural measures of coastal hazards. One is government initiative. Second one is active, uh, activeness of the local government, how local government is active and wh are they are, how efficiently they are working. Then allocation of amount of fund. The allocation is very important. That is, I mean, uh, it, is, it is very important that it is essential to allocate the exact amount that is needed for the, I mean, uh, some major to, to, start to build up some measures like structural or whatever or, or some non-structures. Then the required and allocation ratio. What is the ratio? If if it is if if some some project is uh, needed for one crore rupees, but allocation ratio is 50, 50 lakhs, so that is very important, very very problematic because of the half work will be done from this ratio so so that, that that will not work for properly now the time of sanction when it, it will sanction if it is sanctioned in an uh, indian dry season then it is very important and very useful for the structural measures if it is uh, sanctioned in the monsoon season then the structural measures is not possible so you need to wait for the dry season that is very important what is the time of sanction now the target time to complete the work what is the target time? Target time is very important because of when the area is, is eroding in per year or in monsoon or something else in the rainfall. Then if the time of work is uh, associated with 5 years to um, 10 years that is very problematic. If it is in short term that is uh, the during uh, summer uh, during winter or some something else. Uh, that is that will be very helpful when the the problem is occurring in year. Now, what are the factors of non-structural measures? There are several factors. That is very important. That is the socio-economic background. Then the population composition. Then the population density. Other demographic character. Land use pattern. Then the accessibility and connectivity to the to the area. The health and education. Now the action, what are the action has been taken for the structural measures? That's, that is the first important component is the construction of dam. What types of construction of dam has been done or, or may be done? That is the small dam, maybe check dam, large dam, large dam with a reservoir, storage, storage reservoir. That is depends on the what types of, I mean, uh, what types of problem, what types of hazard is occurring and what is needed, what types of dam is need to, uh, I mean, established. Now the construction of the embankment, like flood leaves, levees, then small earthen embankment, then large earthen embankment, this, uh, the earthen uh, embankment is very familiar to Indian Sundarban, then the concrete embankment, embankment that is very familiar to the, the our, our coastal tourist area that is the Digha Shankarpur, like that. Next the wave barrier that may be small made, small made of concrete. That may be large made of concrete, that may be small made of boulders, that may be large made of boulders. Now the evacuation center that is called shelter, that is a that, that may be used for temporary and, and permanent. You need to you need to construct a permanent shelter. Now 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 it is uh, in along the coast coast area of India. There are several, you can look at several cyclone shelter is uh, I mean uh, is there is, 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 is has been established so that is the permanent shelter what are the temporary you can use the temporary as a temporary shelter like school college and others administrative area now the improving channel capacity that is the coastal inlet river estuary tidal creek 
you need to monitor this now land use planning restriction of construction of, uh, of any type of construction in the coastal zones that is that is very restricted uh, that may be very restricted for uh, i mean restricted as the land use planning now the crd regulation now the changing cropping pattern cropping pattern is very important and and is change changing with, with the time or and scheduled now the environmental law and enforcement how how and why that is the band of plastic that is very useful for uh, I, mean, I mean useful to protect i mean coastal erosion i mean sorry coastal pollution pollution now the band of other non degradable uh, degradable item in the coastal area and the sea beach there are several research is, is is important like hazard mapping risk generation mapping hazard modeling information and communication like warning system that is very developed now now india has been developed a very i mean a strong warning system and forecast and prediction tracking now the hazard impact assessment damage estimation relief distribution those are very important now the non structural measures like public awareness that may be the local administration local disaster action plan training documentation film show motivation and what are the policies policy the infrastructure development participatory management institutional arrangement relief then rehabilitation insurance now the coastal erosion coastal erosion what are the what are the structural and non structural measures is important for the coastal erosion structural measures are storage reservoir uh, you need to you need to you need to construct a, uh, you need to you need to restrict the overflow you need to construct a flood wall they need to improve the channel capacity of the coastal area then the channel improvement then the flood embankment you need to construct a flood very i mean strong flood embankment according to the occurrence and recurrence uh, intensity of the of the flood or uh, coastal surges you need to coastal embankment river training is very important retention pond to many minimize the intensity of flooding in the flooding to the downstream down the construction of the flood shelter that is very stark very very essential uh, measures or uh, structural measures of coastal erosion what are the non structural measures related to coastal erosion that is the training public awareness legislation policy and planning institutional arrangement arrangement then the location uh, i mean local disaster action plan the evacuation center rehabilitation or resettlement project hazard mapping land use changes uh, then the changes cropping pattern insurance now the coastal flood what are the structural measures of coastal flood it is it is storage reservoir restriction of overflow construction of flood wall improvement of channel capacity retarding basin then the channel improvement flood embankment coastal embankment river training construction of dam reservoir detention basin retention pond and minimize the intensity of flood flood to the downstream then the construction of flood shelter and the coastal i mean non structural measures of coastal flood that is training public awareness legislation policy and planning institutional agreement or arrangement location i mean local disaster action plan flood warning system flood forecasting system flood proofing flood flooding then evacuation center flood shelter arrangement flood mapping land use change changing cropping pattern flood insurance now the sand encroachment that is very important to the coastal area what are the structural measures is related to the sand encroachment that is the restriction wall you need to construct a restriction wall you need to construct a wind guard wall construct a dam or reservoir plantation wind breaker tree wall now the in non structural measures that is the training public awareness legislation policy and planning institutional arrangement local disaster action plan evacuation center rehabilitation dune mapping sand encroach zonation mapping land use change changing cropping pattern crop insurance now the dune degeneration what is the structural measures that is needed for the to protect the dune dune degeneration you can you can restriction you can you can established you can construct a restriction wall you can construct a wind guard wall you can construct a dam or reservoir plant you can plant you can make plantation wind breaker tree wall what are the non structural measures training public awareness legislation policy planning institutional arrangement local disaster action plan evacuation center rehabilitation dune mapping sand encroachment zonation mapping land use change changing cropping pattern crop insurance now the important issue that is the issue of sedimentation 
what is the structural measures that is related to the student sedimentation that is the analysis of long term sediment regime the restriction of the overflow construction of the flood wall then improvement of the channel capacity estimation of the estuary and turbidity channel improvement construction of dam or reservoir detention basin retention pond to minimize the intensity of flooding due to the tidal bore then there then the restriction of the land use restriction of the construction then the, then the construction of rehabilitation center dredging then the flow retention or restriction wall now the non non structural measures that is legislation legislation policy and planning institutional arrangement local disaster action plan evacuation center estuary mapping research tidal monitoring monitoring of monitoring of rate of sedimentation land use change changing cropping pattern insurance now the coastal pollution coastal pollution what are the what are the structural measures that is need for the need for to protect the coastal pollution that can reduce or recycle plastic destroy the discharge uh, of untreated sewage increase the treatment recycling and reuse of the waste water reduce storm water related problem then connect all the houses and hotels to the central sewer system now the promote recycling of used oil in coastal area now you can go for the control of chemical and industrial pollutants and pollution monitor center you can establish pollution monitor center to monitor the coastal pollution now the non structural measures that you need to you need to go for the training public you need to make public awareness then strict legislation policy and planning institutional arrangement local local disaster action plan ban ban use of plastic restriction of the tourist flow and activities and i Between different activities in the in the in the restricted area of the coastal coast, assess the economic and environmental impact, assess the biological impact on the coastal ecosystem, build local expertise and technical capacity, increase the funding for pollution control. Those are some sub books you can go through this for further 